Tell me about the persistence of vision display. All right, so this is the, um, the LED board, and it is rotated by this motor right here. Which is a little stepper motor underneath? Yeah, it's yeah. just a stepper motor, and it steps uh, seven and a half degrees every step. And that's controlled by this circuit right here, um, which is driven by this microcontroller. And basically, inside the stepper motor, there are um, uh, pairs of, two pairs of inductors, and the microcontroller controls the direction of current through those inductors, which changes the magnetic field and rotates a magnet right. inside the stepper motor, and that's what causes it to step. And the way this works is just each of these chips has a little uh, LED and a phototransistor in them, and then they're connected to transistors in this chip. And when they're driven by the microcontroller, it grounds uh, the inductors inside, and that creates the current flow. Okay, tell me a little bit about the light bar. Um, so these LEDs here are driven by this onboard microcontroller, which will rotate by the stepper motor. And so, so the microcontroller and all the electronics and the batteries are all balanced up so the thing doesn't fly off the table. Correct. And they're all strapped in by the uh -huh. line, which is pretty sturdy. Okay. And every time the blade makes a full rotation, mm -hmm. it, it will be calculated by this infrared and phototransistor here. Okay. So spin it up and let's take a look at it. I have to give a little jump start. So there's a torque limitation on the stepper motor. Yeah, correct. Okay, so now I'm just going to go back here and, and turn off the light switch. So right now it's, it's slowly building up speed um, because if you try and throw it at full speed immediately, the motor will start to slip. So you got to kind of build torque up it up it slow. So it has the momentum in addition to the magnets pulling right. it around. So I can see the, the, the tick marks representing the hours, and you can see the clock, the clock hands. And yeah. it's set to, to fire an alarm a few seconds after it comes up to speed just for demo, right? Yeah, so, so yeah, the short hand is the hour, and then the minute hand and the second hand. This tick mark right here is our 12 o'clock, and that's where we'll see the alarm go off when the second hand gets there. Switch is very close, right about right, now. Yeah, right now. After that second. And, then the and it builds a spiral out from the center. Cool. Yeah, for one second with the, it leaves the hour hand on, and one second it leaves the minute hand on, and then another second leaves the second hand on. Uh huh. And it keeps keeping time during that time, so it's not like you lose those three seconds. Right. And as you can see, we started at 4:15, um, but now the minute hand's gone on a full time, and actually the minute or the second hand went around a full time and the minute hand has actually ticked to 16 so now three and four sixteen. Cool. And then the hour hand, the minute hand and second hand will all increment by a sixtieth of the full circle. Right. And the hour hand will actually increment every sixtieth um, it will increment sixtieth every twelve minutes to make it more realistic. And you can uh, and you have enough angular accuracy to do that. Yeah because actually um, every single revolution, when the phototransistor detects these uh, infrared LEDs, it recorrects for any error on the previous rotation. It calculates the period, so it's basically correcting itself every single rotation, uh -huh. so it stays accurate. Uh huh. And it doesn't drift at all. No. Okay. Thank you.